Um, for a second, I had to like, just make sure that it wasn't ditched on something. So who's got this other ward? We've got one in the mid lane, trying to help him out. Is the other one just chilling? There's, oh, it's oh, already it's up top. top. He yeah, did the, they, they, uh, they put it here. the early placement here. So lots of pressure on this offlane slider. Shushan Cat goes oh down. Oh my god, he's dead! What? <laughs> too many stuns. The I wasn't back. even, yeah, the toss back must have been there. I didn't even see it. I'm glad I got the tail end of it, but that's some T Tours stuff right there. But don't worry, I'm one of the best observers for Undershock as they lose that tier one tower in the top lane. And they're still not done yet. Noise gonna get a loose your arm. Jaunt in from Artishock. There's the waning rift. Means maybe three to four more right clicks to get this kill. The spirit's doing some damage to the bane and some of the illusions. Or rather the creeps. They still can't find that last hit. And they actually get the toss kill on the bane. Nicely done for Baby Knight. Now Rise is getting jumped on. Here comes goddamn dive behind the tier one tower. And the dark pact as well as the pounce will get the job done. Another waning rift. Baby Knight's low. Has to Joe has stun at three. Jaunt backwards coming out from the undershock puck. Cheshire Cat still getting chased down, another stun. Hester Joe doing as much damage as possible. Pounce misses. Hester Joe avoids it, but the Dark Pack's oh nice damage. God, There's the Shadow Dance up. coming in. They're ready to go again. Illusion Arm, goddamn, finds a double. Undershock has Dream Pool on five, as you just talked about. Goddamn, actually gets a stun up. This. He actually had the Shadow Blade there perfectly timed in the last take of that Dark Pack. Yes, he gets this last CS here. Last two CS. And now Slaughter is in with that Shadow Blade ready to go. Has to Joe, he's already used his Slytherin Crush, goddamn walks right next to him. And Pounce goes, he doesn't get off that right click first with the Shadow Blade. Roar's ready to go, Dark Pack comes out, Shadow Dance is ready, gets tossed up. Now Feeds Grip breaks immediately, Undershock though gets off a great Dream Quill. On to three, the Waning Grip coming out, goddamn comes back in. Dark Pack gets with the double kill, about to find the triple, gonna get the Pounce off he can. The damage will go to Undershock and he finds four kills, all told, and Ace about to be the fifth. And again, it all unravels for Imperial. Goddamn now, getting an unstoppable spree, a triple kill comes out for Undershock's Puck. And this is exactly the time we were talking about, Trent. You just can't fight these guys right now, man. Look at, look at the Undershock, <laughs> he's almost got a veil fully completed here. After just getting that Blink Dagger, it's 13 minutes in. And uh, boom, nice. Now mid lane is a fight breaking out, or about to be, and Ember's gonna come into Hesji Joe. Tether comes out, they have relocate, and they actually take the Nightmare away from Noyes. Stomp comes in onto two, Dream Quill on top of Runner Shock, Waiting Rift is there as well, Baby Knight's low, Roar comes out. Noyes gonna get brought down, not dead yet, finally getting choked up, and nowadays the Fiend's grip on SJ Joe as well. Ace has got Gosh Strength, he gets up the Storm Hammer, finds J4, but here's the Earth Splitter as well, Big Dumb. They'll find it, blowing up another, it's gonna be Tiny going down. Another loose Europe comes through, good clear from Ace, brings down J4. Can he get Big Dumb? He can, but is that going to be it? And looks like the answer to that question is yes, as now Goddamn finds a triple with a pass to the high ground. Nicely done from Imperial, rather for Power Rangers, to pick up and clean up Imperial yet again. All five dead in the dirt, Dunzo McDunzo, and now they're I mean, they keep putting this pressure on. How are you ever going to get into Dude, any sort of a blink dagger? He is no blink anytime soon. He's not even really close. Meanwhile, Nightmare's going to come out. J4 has found Ace. God's going to in. Dream Quill comes out. Waiting Rift. J4 is still probably dead. No, they have the roar to stop all that damage. Coming in with the Brain Steps as well. They get off the Earth Splitter. Ace has to pop the arm, but it's not enough as he's going to fall yet again. The Fiend's Grip came out at the last second to bring him down. And now Hester Joe axes up. Loose your arm. No blink for him. And Sprint not even there. It's another team wipe. That's three in a row for Power Rangers Imperial. And just like that, there's a 10,000 lead that is going to swing even harder now. Like, they haven't even taken the tower yet, and it looks like PR are looking to keep this game to be a perfect one so far. Oh, we need a big save. From or, oh, there is a relocate coming in. It's actually a relocate out, so they will keep him alive. I'm so close. Meanwhile, that sleep almost hit Noya. Goddamn, actually, he's... Counts into Noya. He does pop the Shadow Dance, though. But meanwhile, they do blow up the Isle instantly. Ace might be next. There's the Aegis gone in a shock. Well, it's actually the Dream Goal Break that kills Ace uh, a bit anticlimactically. Goddamn, Aegis is now gone, so that's a bit too much aggression. Although he did get tossed back, it's not his fault. They were trying to get that tier 2 tower. They weren't. He's got his Akadim Scepter. I think he wants to wait before he gets that axe before he uses it. Goddamn goes back into the Ace, finds another Echo Saber hit. Relocate's gonna come through from Noy to keep him alive, and luckily we'll be able to do so. Here comes Baby Knight, gets off the Avalanche, tossed back on the Rise. Death Ward coming through as well. He's got Shadow Dance, he's gonna use it finally. He finds the kill on Rise before the Stomp came in as well to cancel that with Dr. Ulti. Yeah, he's he's pretty farmed, and he's God actually damn, dude. he's actually corralling them all into the base while PR are going to work on the racks. He even found another kill on a tiny this time with the help of Big Num. Undershock looking for that Dream Quill, he'll find it on the two, and there it is. GG is finally called a bad day of Dota for Imperial. Oh and four when it's all said and done. PR 2-0 the side of Imperial rather easily. Goddamn with an amazing series. Cheshire Cat as well. Uh, that shouldn't happen. Game needs to be unpaused. GG. Unpause the game.
and uh, let it just play out, hopefully. Everybody DCing in the game at this point, and we should probably do the same. Although we're waiting for the end score screen, but uh, that may never... Okay, good, it's there. Woo. We did it. Well, Trent...